Well, my friends, I got to do something yesterday that I did not think I would ever get a chance to do. I got the opportunity to attend an early virtual screening of Star Trek Picard Season 2, Episode 1, titled The Stargazer. And, well, you all know that I'm a huge Star Trek fan, right? I, I just, it was very surreal for me to be able to... <laughs> get an invitation to do something like this because I, well, you know, I just, I'm very passionate about these shows. I think especially during these difficult times, Star Trek, the franchise itself provides a an escape, most importantly, but also it provides us this vision of the future that humanity could be, and that's why I appreciate it so much. So, this is my review of episode number one of season two, titled The Stargazer. Just FYI, there's probably going to be spoilers, so just bear that in mind. I will try to keep this brief, though. So I will say that this show has returned with a bang. I like As much as I did enjoy season one, I really feel like season two is hitting the ground running, we are introduced to not only all the main characters that we saw in season one, but uh, we also see the return of Guinan, played by Whoopi Goldberg, and Q, played by John Delancey from Star Trek The Next Generation. So that was, that was f phenomenal. Like, I, like, there was so much fan, like, honoring throughout this, like, I, I will say fan service throughout this episode, but it wasn't just about fan service. I think a lot of it was about really crafting a solid story and developing the characters. Like, Picard is a character that we've had since the late 80s. We've, we've seen him in seven seasons of one of the largest and most, you know, critically acclaimed shows there are. We saw him in, in many movies associated with that show, and now we, he's in this new show. So it begs the question of what other stories are there to tell about this character? And I think that um, Star Trek Picard, because Picard, or because Patrick Stewart, Sir Patrick Stewart is an executive producer, they've allowed the show to expand on Picard's character considerably. So while this first episode is really setting up things for this entire season. We really get some hints at exploring Picard's past as a child and developing an understanding of why he has been so eager to not make connections with people. And it's so far based on some flashback segments that we see. I think it probably has a lot to do with the fact that Picard's father was abusive, which would be interesting considering Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart has talked about his own father being abusive as well. So I, I think that there is a strong chance that there might be some parallels in this season. Um, other notable moments, we get to see a wonderful conversation between Picard and Guinan about that very topic, about making connections. It really made my heart feel warm because it was, it was just great to see them together again. I really hope that we get to see more of Whoopi Goldberg throughout the season because I would like to know more about the history of Picard and Guinan and about, you know, Guinan's understanding of Q. So at the end, like, the, the episode ends on a cliffhanger uh, because the Borg end up coming through this spatial rift uh, and they end up, you know, self-destructing the ship that they're on because the Borg Queen ends up arriving and taking over. And um, Picard wakes up in this, like, alternate reality. And Q is there telling him that he is at the end of the road. I think he said not traveled. So things are getting really intense. Things are getting very intense. I'm super excited. P.S. Celebration. We get to see the Stargazer for the first time. Uh, the the refit of, of Picard's first ship that he ever served on. So that was fun. So anyway, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I'm going to be talking more about the episodes as we move along. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I really love the episode. I give it a solid A. I think it's probably one of the strongest season openers I've seen for a long, long time. So anyway, talk to you soon. Bye.